for the uh, young artist, the way I deal with criticism. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's okay, it's okay, okay. Oh, now I forgot the, the, the bullet points. It's okay. <laughs> the journey has been successful. It has been uh, up and down through uh, out the years that I've been practicing art, especially when growing up as, a, as an artist. My name is Nedia Were. I'm a painter from Nairobi, Kenya. That is where I live and work. My career as an artist started out like any other kid who was given a, a, a crayon to sketch uh, stick figures. But uh, the desire to continue to create developers I was growing older and also the curiosity that I have always had as a kid. How does this work? If I put this and that, how will it uh, come? What will I have? And also uh, having fun making toys to my uh, childhood friends uh, back then. So I can say art uh, grew up with me and uh, that is what I'm still uh, <coughs> doing. My work is inspired by mostly uh, people that I, that I interact with and uh, or people that I know, maybe family members. I combine that with personal stories that I have and also taking keen observation of my environment and what is uh, happening and what is affecting people around me. So that is where I wrote uh, my, my, my inspiration. But uh, for the last uh, body of work, uh, it was greatly, greatly inspired by one himself, the master, Kerry James Marshall. He's an American painter. Yeah, the way he used uh, black uh, medium, it inspired me and, and made me to also do that conversation in this part of the world. Because one thing that uh, I've always been curious and it came at the perfect time is the uh, color black that is in most of African flags and I was curious also <coughs> to paint my subject in that uh, darker pigment so that my community can feel as they are part and parcel of the greater conversation that is going on around the black figuration especially its representation in history and also during these uh, modern times that we are living. I prefer to create my works with uh, oils and acrylics because it is the medium that allows me to represent my ideas and also to represent the people that I want to, to paint. And uh, the process is very simple and it depends with actually the project that I'm working on. So I'll start with a, a cleric on the background and uh, finish up with oil or start the whole uh, piece with oil and finish with oil. So I feel like oils give me that uh, time to interact in the process of making. And uh, a cleric, if I want the uh, background to be dried very quickly I use a cleric and then I'll finish up with oil so yeah that is uh, my process as an artist journey has been successful it has been uh, up and down through uh, out the years that I've been practicing art especially when growing up as, a, as an artist because uh, I didn't <coughs> uh, manage to go to uh, any college for art and so I just followed my curiosity and desire to create my art and uh, yeah that's why I've been pushing pushing and just challenging myself to new stuff that I don't uh, I've never tried so it makes me uh, excited to be sort of experimental artist 
and also it makes the journey to be memorable. After the Florence uh, trip, I was looking for a residency to come so that uh, I can just experiment on some of the ideas that I had and uh, I came across a guest house with uh, having the open call for self-funded artists and uh, I applied and I got myself here in Johannesburg for a two-month residency program. So basically I've been here for a month. I've met different artists here and uh, we have had so many conversations about things that uh, are happening and how they are coping with at this side. And also part of the conversation is about the different creative process, the inspiration and how the, the politics of South Africa affect their, their work. I'm yet to collaborate with a few artists to create some works that have been inspired by my stay or generally anything that I think we can uh, talk about. Yeah. So the way I usually deal with criticism is that I'll, I'll, I'll listen to all of them. I'll give each and every person who is telling me something about my work I'll listen careful and I'll put the points um, in a book and I see, I look for the consistency of the points and then I'll sit down, look at the work and make a change if it is needed to be. But I take criticism very serious because that is where I learn, that is where I get to push myself as an artist. I have conversation with a few other artists but for the ones that we have had conversation with such as Fuzi. He's a great person, he has great ideas. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to continue co talking and coming up with ideas on what we can do together. I want to learn, also he wants to learn from me, so I am open to that, sure. What I can tell uh, people who want to come to this field is just follow your heart and do do what you have to do if you want to use color color brown to paint water just use color brown to paint water it is up to you and you have freedom yeah but start as a make it as therapeutic yeah bond with it stay with it believe with it and then let yourself to grow with it i think that will be the best part please avoid expectation because you might end up being frustrated in your life. I'm from western parts of Kenya and the cultures are a bit different. What is happening here is different from what is happening back at home. But I see a certain commonality in the community of people around here and that is uh, togetherness. People like being with each other so much and hanging out 